Hi guys, this is Irina and I'm glad to see you again. Today's video will be dedicated to the nominative case in Russian language. This case is the most easy one because, as I said in the previous lesson, the nouns don't change their endings here. And all the nouns that you can find in a dictionary are written in the nominative case. But before we start looking at noun endings in this case, I wanted to show you three noun declensions and noun endings in different genders. Please note that today we're going to study only the nouns in singular form, okay? Let's look carefully at the following slides. The nouns that end in a consonant, in the letter Y, or in the sign of palatalization, refer to masculine gender. For example, stol, table, computer, computer, dub, oak, musei, museum, voy, how, slavar, dictionary, rytsar, night, jantar, amber. The nouns which end in a, ya, or in the sign of palatalization refer to feminine gender. For example, mama, mom, strana, country, jagada, berry, familia, last name, sheja, neck, dinja, melon, ploshit, square or area, izgarat, fence. And finally, the nouns that end in the vowels O or Ye refer to neutral gender. For example, Pismo – letter, Yablaka – apple, Akno – window, Mori – sea, Palatiense – towel, Sonse – sun. You can also see the endings a and ya in masculine gender in such words as papa, dad, dyadya, uncle, yunasha, young man, mushina, man. There are also some exceptions with the nouns that end in a or ya. The following words refer to neutral gender. Ditya, baby, vremya, Time, imia, name, znamia, flag, plamia, flame, plemia, tribe. One thing, guys. Now we want to be looking at all the exceptions that have to do with the noun endings and genders. The main idea here is just to know the general grammar rule, okay? Now let's continue. There are three types of noun declension in Russian language. The first type includes all the nouns in masculine and feminine genders, which end in a or ya. The second type includes all the nouns in masculine gender, which end in a consonant, plus the nouns in masculine and neutral gender, which end in o or ye. And the third type of declension includes all the nouns in feminine gender, which end in the sign of palatalization. Examples Zima – winter Zemlya – earth Yunasha – young man Dyadya – uncle Stol – table Dosht – rain Yablaka, apple, pole, field or land. Radest, joy, noch, night, rosh, rai, mish, mouse. Good guys. I know that this topic is very difficult and this amount of noun endings can get you crazy, but please be patient. Believe me that whichever foreign language you learn, it will always seem difficult at first, but one or two years later, everything will seem more clear. 
Now it's time to look at the nouns in singular form in nominative case. Remember that it's the same form of all the nouns that you can find in a dictionary of Russian language. Stool, Riba, Papa, Ovash, Vremia, Zabota, Dedushka, Patalok, Sonse. And that's it for today's lesson. I hope everything was clear. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below this video. In the next lesson, we'll learn the noun endings in plural form. If you like my video classes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel Learn Russian with Irina. Have a great day! See you soon! Пока!